If you're into fast-paced action shooters and looking to try something new, you're in the right place. Iron Sight combines elements from other pre-existing titles and bundles up the good to create something addictive. Iron Sight is a free-to-play first-person shooter on the PC currently in open beta. So be wary of the footage you see, as it is all a work in progress. These are my first impressions of the game, and more time with the game will reveal further things down the line. But let's get right to business. What sets Iron Sight apart from other free-to-play shooters is the way they handle in-game currency and microtransactions. Unlike other free-to-play alternatives, the developers at Whipple Games know how to keep their game away from the dreaded pay-to-win model. There are in-game purchases you can make, and they are completely cosmetic. Weapon skins, reload animations, and different characters to play as are among many different cosmetic options you can buy with real-world money or through in-game currency. The customization screen for your character is quite nice, as you can change your hair, facial accessories, clothing, and emotes as well. There's also some preset character models that are locked behind a paywall, and if you wish to have these fancy items, you can either fork up some cash or, by extensive playtime, earn enough in-game currency to purchase the items. It's all cosmetic currently, and I hope Ironsight continues down this path, and hopefully other games learn from it as well. Another thing that caught my eye is the gameplay itself. It's very fast-paced and takes many aspects from the Call of Duty franchise. Now there's no need to worry just yet, because Iron Sight takes the recipe that COD got big off of while excluding excess stuff that players grew to hate. Things like the three perk system, the option to carry one grenade and tactical just reeks classic Call of Duty. So coming into Iron Sight for the first time makes it really easy to understand the game mechanics and offers you the ability to pick the game up, regardless of what type of player you are, and see success. Game modes like Team Deathmatch, Secure Point, Rescue Takeover, and Search and Destroy are great and new classic game modes. Search and Destroy is good if you want to be a little more cautious and play competitively, while Team Deathmatch lets you just sit back and enjoy the chaos. The score streaks in this game aren't too overly powerful and not weak enough to be completely dismissed either. They are separated into two main types of streaks, one more offensive, where you'll see a lot of streaks made for killing players, and one more passive streaks in the other category like the UAV and counter UAV. They are familiar if you played any Call of Duty game like Black Ops 2 or the Modern Warfare series. In terms of gunplay, everything seems pretty balanced. My only gripe is the option to equip a shotgun as a secondary, as I think it makes you a bit too powerful. Shotguns are killers in close range, and I'd think it'd be better to see them as primary weapons instead of secondary. A highlight that I really liked in Iron Sight is the progression. Your weapon can be leveled up, and different attachments are locked until you reach those higher levels. This is something that I wish to see in more games, as it adds an extra layer of progression. You can earn your way up through just using the weapon, so no need to worry about completing silly challenges that could detract the gameplay or hinder your team. Weapon progression is not something completely brand new, but I appreciate that it's there. As a whole, Iron Sight is a well-rounded game and really impressed me by playing its open beta. The servers are a bit broken, like the highlight screen, and players warping through the map, and matches freezing at random times. Now the reason this happened was the sheer amount of players joining the game. The influx of players was a bit too much for the servers to handle, so the community basically broke their own game. No worries though, as the team at Whipple Games is aware and is working to get it sorted as soon as possible. Just now, they released a fix for the major problems, but some server-side issues still occur, so let's hope things get ironed out soon. I hope that Iron Sight continues down this great path and grows as well. It'd be a shame for a game like this to be abandoned, so make sure to try it out when you have the chance. There's almost no performance issues, so running this game on a lower end PC should have no problem. So yeah, that about wraps up today's Iron Sight beta review. If you're interested in this game, I'll leave a link in the description below to download the game. I don't think it's available on consoles to my knowledge, but it would be awesome to see. Anyways, thanks for watching, share to spread the word, and as always, it's been Bloodhound, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.